What's up guys? Welcome to New Tarot. I am an energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general readings for somebody. So before I put the charm, I do want to say in my description box, I have my social medias on there. On it, I do post on Instagram and Snapchat in case you guys want to go check that out. You can. Alright, so well, let's see who's going to get this reading. Aries! What's up, Aries? Thank you so much for being here. This message could resonate with you if you have Aries as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. The energies might be reversed for you, Aries, so take it how it resonates and leave the rest, okay? All right, so we're going to put some oracles, clarify, um, and then ask for some advice at the end, okay? All right, Aries, what is going on with the Aries? Aries, what is going on? You have dolphin, embrace your inner child, have fun. So there's something here. I feel like more you're taking too seriously. Okay, see, we'll look at the bigger picture, bird's eye view. I feel like there's something here that you're taking way too seriously, and the universe wants you to to like have a little fun, okay, with whatever this is. We're gonna clarify. What else for Aries? Here? You have stingray, be aware of your surroundings, mindfulness. So hmm. Bottom of the deck is pure. You decide the choice is yours. So I feel like the universe is gonna is going to. I don't want to say an ultimatum, but that's exactly what I just got. There's something here that there's people in your energy that do not have the best intentions for you, and I feel like the universe is about to give you an ultimatum. Who look at this sand dollar manifestation? Be open to receiving. Now, you're gonna have a choice. Okay, this could have to be with your money. But it doesn't have to be. It could also be a new opportunity that you're going to have to, um, you know, new opportunity where you can um, create a new, you know, spend new time and new energy in. Now, what I'm going to tell you is, Aries, whatever this thing is that they're going to, like, you know, provide you with, like, hey, these people around you don't got the best intentions. So the universe is going to bring you something and you're going to have to choose. And I feel like you've been asking for this. Okay, with the manifestation. But I also want to say this, Aries. Whatever it is, it's not going to be 100% like it's going to check off all your boxes. Like, let's just say this is a job, right? And you, and the universe is like seeing. And this is and this is the great thing about the Stingray with, with the car that I'm getting. It's like you're very innocent, Aries. Like, I feel like you might have an idea. But some of you guys are just like, you know what? I don't care. Like, you, you might know that there's people around you who could be like hating on you or... Um, which I don't understand why people hate, like, just ask me how I'm doing it and I will put you on, bro. You don't have to freaking hate on me, but there are people who are hating on you and I feel like you're not paying any mind to them. And that's why the universe is about to bring you this. It's like, you're not feeding into the negativity, into the drama. Like, you're just like, uh-uh. And because of that, the universe is going to bring you something. But when they do bring you something, we have the hermit card here. You're going to have to adjust yourself. You're going to have to adapt to this new energy. One, it's going to be something that you've never experienced before. And two, it might not look like exactly what you're asking for. Like if it's a job, right? This job might be, you know, maybe the current job that you're in right now is 10 minutes away. And the job that you're that is going to be offered to you is an hour away. You know, you're going to have to make some sacrifices in order to get this. But ultimately, the choice is yours. But the universe is bringing you to this because they see that the energy that you're surrounding is not um, is not healthy for you. It's not helping you grow. It's not helping you do anything. And I feel like you deserve something better. Okay. All right. What else for Aries? We're going to see what that is exactly. But. Dang. Yeah, I got a lot today. You have mermaid. Be careful what you wish for. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's something here that you're asking the universe for. And the universe is like, are you sure? Are you sure? Because the mermaid, remember the mermaid, right? The mermaid, when she asked to be a human, she didn't know all of the things that was required to be a human until she became a human. And then she became a human and she was like, oh my gosh, look at all these problems. Look at all these things I have to deal with. And then, you know, she kind of, not really regretted it, but she didn't know what she was getting herself into. And that's what I'm getting with this card. We're going to see what that is. You have shipwreck, find closure, the end of a phase or cycle. So there's something here that's ending, okay, that could have been reoccurring in your life over and over and over, which is great. And you have compass, divine guidance. This is a beautiful card. 
the universe is guiding you to a certain place in your life aries bottom of the deck is yes <laughs> and they want you to say yes um divine compass is here so whatever this is i feel like it's going to come out of nowhere and i also feel like you're not going to understand it like you're going to be like wait what wait what like whenever divine guidance is is in our energy it's like we don't understand it because we never even thought that that was even a possible thing okay so we're gonna see this is really good Aries. <laughs> this is really good let's clarify these all right spirit aries what is this dolphin what is this dolphin here for Aries spirit bottom of the deck is the four of cups in reverse so you have the tower in reverse you have the four of swords in reverse and the sun here so aries i feel like there's whatever it is that you that the universe is like stop taking so seriously here i feel like you don't want things to change you don't want you don't want something to change here and I don't like this energy. I feel like there was something, Aries, that was brought into your life for you to have fun, for you to like explore, right? Like a child. A child doesn't take anything serious. A child doesn't dip themselves into a pool and think they're going to stay there forever. A child is just in the present moment and moves on. Whatever this is, it's been in your life for longer than it's supposed to, than it was supposed to be, Aries. And I feel like you embedded yourself and you became one with this. And because of that, I feel like you found happiness with the sun card. Okay. But the universe is kind of telling you like something has to go, Aries. Something has to change. And you have to allow this to change. And I feel like it's going to, and I'm going to be honest with you, but I'm feeling like, I feel like it's going to, it's going to like crush all of your dreams that you had towards whatever this is. And that is why you're having such a hard time letting this go. But to begin with, Aries, it wasn't meant to be there for as long as it was. Okay? It, it was supposed to come. And that's the thing that I have learned um, recently too, Aries, is that there's certain things in our lives that come to just help us out to for a short period of time. But we get so engulfed and we get so like, yes, I want this. This is beautiful. And then we start creating the, the future in our heads with the present moment, which is very difficult not to do, right? Especially if you're happy, especially if it's making you happy. And yeah, that was the point. That was the point because I feel like when, when the universe brought you whatever this was, it could be something recently new that happened within like the last six to eight months. If the universe brought this to you to make you happy, to put you in better spirits, right? To show you that, hey, we got you. We ain't going to let you fall, right? But then you took the life, the lifeboat and you freaking took it all the way to Canada and Africa and, and Timbuktu and all of that stuff. And then the lifeboat started, you know, getting out of air, deflating. And you're just like, no, this can't be over. No, let me let me get some tape to tape it up. Let me, you know, try to do something. Let me take off my clothes and like wrap the hole with my clothes so it, it can provide, you know, because you still wanted to, you still wanted that happy feeling. And, and I feel like, I feel like you were really battling yourself too. Um, but what you don't see coming, Aries, is the seven of swords with the three of coins in reverse. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm always honest on my channel. I can't do my channel without honesty. I feel like if you don't let this go, or if you don't allow this to change in the way that it wants to, in the way that the universe is showing you, the universe is going, you're going to find something out that's being, that's being hidden from you. And what's really being hidden is that an energy does not want to work with you anymore for whatever reason, right? Um, and I feel like when this happens, it, it's, um, I don't feel like it's going to be good. I feel like your intuition is telling you this here. Your intuition is telling you to let this go with the four of pentacles in reverse. And then you have the strength card. You could do this. I don't feel like you want to because like I said, I feel like this has become a safe haven for some of you. But the high priestess is here. Your intuition is screaming at you, Aries. Screaming. 
All right, let's see. What is a stingray? What is a stingray for Aries? Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands in reverse. You have the Four of Wands. You have the Seven of Cups. And the Knight of Cups in reverse. So Aries, whatever, let me tell you. Tell you right now. This could be a marriage. This could be a foundation. This could be, um, you know, something that you've been committed to for a very long time. And I feel like because you've been committed to it for a very long time, you haven't really realized that they don't keep their word, right? They say a lot of things and then you, you know, you go to follow up and it's a different story. They change it up or they just don't mean what they say. Okay, and I feel like you're not really seeing that because you have the four of wands with the seven of cups. You're like, no, I'm having a good time. You know, no, I have people, I have friends. I, I'm, 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 I'm enjoying my time. I'm celebrating. We're having such a good time. But they're doing this so that you don't really see what you got to see with the seven of cups. The seven of cups is an illusion. The seven of cups is an energy where... I, what I'm getting is that these people want you to see this. These people want you to look at this foundation like that. Oh, this is fun. Or this is, this is amazing. You know, we love each other. We love you, Aries. But in reality, they're just feeding you BS because this is their actions. Not to keep their promises, you know? And that is the energy that the universe is like wants you to be careful with. Don't open yourself up so much. Don't overextend yourself so much right now. Eight of Wands of Inverse, the Hermit in Reverse, and the Emperor in Reverse. I feel there's gonna be a lot of delays. There might be some delays, like you know, maybe you want to do certain things and it's and it's delaying the process. I feel like I feel like then you need to take some self-reflection within yourself, Aries, and ask yourself what it is really that you're doing. Does this really fit me? Do I really feel like these people, this person is really there for me? Because I don't feel like you feel like yourself within this energy. I really feel like you don't. You feel like something is out of whack, like something isn't right. And it's because you don't belong there, Aries. I'm sorry. Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups. Ten of Wands is in reverse. I, I feel like you don't want to drop this because you're thinking about how it was when you first started. You're thinking about, you know, the mindset that you had when you first got this. And that's where you're at. But whatever this, look at this, Eight of Cups in reverse and the Page of Swords. Somebody already emotionally detached themselves from this. Meaning you're not as involved emotionally in this as you were before. And there is not, like the communication is horrible. It's either you have to go looking, always go asking. You know, it's not like it's not like people come and talk to you. I don't know. I'll take that how that resonates, okay? What is mermaid? I'm actually gonna go post on Instagram after this video. So if you guys want to go check that out, maybe there's a message in there for you because I just got that right now. Okay. What is this mermaid? Thank you so much for these messages. Oh, damn. All right. Even have the death card at the bottom of the deck. You have the two of wands in reverse with the knight of coins. You also have the king of wands in reverse, the empress. And you have the ten of wands here. Okay. So that's what I'm going to tell you, Aries. There's something that you asked for that didn't work out. Okay. It, it, it didn't work out here. I feel like um, what was being offered to you seemed very stable, seemed very reliable. Definitely do not blame yourself. Um, but I feel like it went, it's, it, I feel like whatever this is, it turned sour, like real quick. Like, I'm also feeling like you, I'm also, first of all, this was, to, this was supposed to change you, Aries. This was supposed to transform you. This came into your life, whatever it is that you asked for that um, didn't really turn out exactly the way you thought because maybe you didn't think beyond what was being shown. 
it's what's supposed to transform you, Aries, because you were holding on to this lack mindset. You were holding on to I'm not enough. I'm not good enough. I, you know, I, I, I deserve this and not that, right? Like you could have been settling, not that you settled for this energy, but just in general in your life, you could have been settling for the low minimum because you feel like that's what you deserve when you actually deserve up here, you know? And that's why the universe brought this into your life because they're like, listen, whatever this was, it was really good. Okay. You, you like this. You really wanted this. You were like, this is the, this is the ultimate goal here. This is mine. And then you finally get it. And then it doesn't work out. Right. Which shows you, you can even do better than that. And that, and that at one point was your wish. Right. And I feel like it didn't work out. And that could also get you be, that could also be really pissed off because you're like, yo, I gave my time. I gave my energy. I was really, really reliable. I was consistent. I was stable. Right. I, I, I was open to this. Um, and at the end of the day, it was the hardest thing ever, right? It was so much challenges. I felt like I, I was freaking bring, being dragged, right? But um, you had to go through this process, Aries. You absolutely did because there was no other way that you would be able to realize that you deserve way more. You deserve way more than this. And you wasn't going to be able to figure that out unless this happened. Because now I feel like you know your worth. Now I feel like you know what you deserve and you're going to go aiming higher. You're not going to aim low ball like you've always have been. Okay. You, you're more, when you're more determined because it's like, you finally got your wish. You, you finally got whatever it is that you wanted. And the fact that it didn't work out, it could have like, it's like, it gave you like a boost, like, you know, and plus Aries, y'all never give up. Okay. And I feel like this is giving you like a boost. Like, wow, I finally got everything. I got that. So if I could get that, to, I, I could get something way better, okay? I can, I just, you know, it, this, this helped you with your self-confidence a lot. Some of you guys weren't even looking at it in that way, but now you are, right? What is shipwreck for Aries? Why is shipwreck for spirit? Is that three cards? No, can I have one more card, please? Oh, they said one. All right. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords in reverse. So you have the Ace of Wands with the Temperance. The Ace of Wands is in reverse here. So there's something here that didn't work out the way you wanted it to. Okay. Period. There's this new thing that you wanted to try. It didn't work out. And now you're healing from it. Now you're trying to find some balance here. Queen of Swords in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, and the Two of Swords in reverse. You've definitely made up your mind on this. Okay. Oops. Could be the Cancer. We definitely made up your mind. You're like, listen. And <laughs> whatever this was, you guys could have got some like some like um, some like bickering words, like maybe the, the communication like was just like somebody was like really mean. OK, but it's like it's like you made a decision. You don't want to move forward on this. And like you had to really put your foot down, like really put it down in order for, you know, this to happen. Right. Queen of Cups in reverse, the star and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I mean, you had to emotionally close yourself off for this in order for you to heal, okay? Or you do, if you haven't already. Um, I also feel like you're remembering who you are as well with the Queen of Wands here after this ending. But this ending um, needed to happen, Aries. And I also feel like it's going to bring a lot of balance into your life that you didn't have before you even had this, Okay. Or it's just compass for Aries. <clears throat> Knight of Wands is in reverse at the bottom. Yeah, the lovers with the fool. The universe is guiding you towards this new beginning that you're in right now, okay? I feel like they're guiding you to the person who you're meant to be with, with the lovers. Someone who... Um, is you're gonna be you're gonna be sharing a very rare connection with you guys are, could have already met this person it could be a gemini it doesn't have to be though but the universe is guiding you towards it so take that leap if um you're like hesitant like oh should i even do this yes you should if this is not about a relationship this is um a universe guiding you to a union with another energy that is as passionate as you has the same morals have the same values and you're gonna feel that you're gonna feel it okay and that's what I'm saying. Like, <clears throat> once you feel it, you're going to be like, wait, what? Because it's like, you weren't even thinking about it. You weren't looking for this. You weren't, it's not something that you were even, you know, in your peripheral. 
Um, the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Five of Swords, and the Six of Wands. This will be successful, Aries. Whatever this new thing is that you are embarking on. Okay, I feel like the universe is going to bring this to you with divine guidance. I feel like it's going to work out here. I feel like it's going to get you out of your head. And with the Knight of Wands in reverse, I don't feel like it's going to, it's going to, I feel like you feel like this is going to be gone as soon as it comes in. You, you might not have any faith. You're like, oh, well, you're going to be gone real quick. No, this is, this is an energy that's going to stick around and make sure that you decide um, what you want to do here. Make sure that you, you know, don't keep it open. Um. Because I see that there might be an important decision that you might not make because of fear. So just adjust that. All right. So that I have. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this. And stay positive.